Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent and today we're on episode 260 of the Wizard 101 Death Walkthrough. Last time, if you haven't checked it out already, we made our way into Samsara Village, in, which is kind of in Mandala, which is like the ring here thing. Yeah, you know, you know. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, but anyway, we're talking to Cole. You convinced the Elder? All right, all right, all right. What you're doing must be really important. You need to get to the Cave of Quickening. Here's how it works. Life energy shines from the Temple of Light onto the Great Wheel at the Cave of Quickening. But the wheel moves. At this time, the Cave of Quickening is in the middle of the dying jungles where death energies are strong. You die without protection. You need to be purified. Talk to Gajah in the market. He can help. Okay, let's go to Gazat. Oh, there's some music. I was wondering what the music was. It kind of just turned off as soon as I got here. I'm like, what? What? It's kind of broken. Kind of broken. There needs to be a lot more music, I would say. Um, let's get this wooden chest because wooden chests are great. Um, and we will head on over to uh -huh, Gazat. Um, I don't think we have to do too much more in this place and we can head off. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll find out. I'm pretty sure there's not too much from memory. This place wasn't very long-lived. The dying jungles? Oh, very dangerous. If you want to keep the death magic of the jungles from withering you, you must purify your body and balance the life magic within yourself. I sense powerful energies inside you. You might be strong enough to resist the aura of death, but it's best to be safe and sure. In our hanging gardens, we use sagram seeds. They're ground into dust to rejuvenate blighted soil. They will harmonize your life energies. Go to the gardens and cover yourself in dust from the red, gold, and black urns there. Then return to me. Okay, easy. Easy clap. I saw one over here. This is the gold. This is the gold one in the cornfield. Hi. Okay, we don't actually have dialogue, which is great. Um, yeah, this area is so cool. I, I think I said this last time, but it's just so cool. I love it so much. It's well put together. It's really, really well put together. I really love this whole ring thing. I think I said this in a stream the other day when we were just chilling here. Um, I think it looks just so cool. This whole ring concept of just a random ring that defies gravity. I like it. I really do. Um, and also, um, you may see that we're on a different mount. Don't call me a noob. Or you can. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really... I like the bat swarm. It's not, like, bad, but I just kind of wanted something a bit more, like, um, witchy for Witch Boy here, which is also known as Pilgrim Boy. It is done. Now you are ready to descend into the jungle. Ooh. Spicy. The dying jungles are far away. Too far for you to reach them on the ground. Talk to Losa, the wind driver. Her skyboat will take you. All right, wizard, we're ready to go. Lead the way. Wait, I have to do what with magic dust? Oh, boy. Keep going, wizard. We'll catch up. I will make sure your friend finds his way to you. Go now, and good luck. Okay, let's head off to Losa. Wherever she may be, wherever she may be, we will find her, and then we will go and get some stuff. I, I can't actually remember where we're going. I have no idea where we're going next. I think it might yeah, be close to the I river. Yeah, I down to the jungle. Absolutely. First, I need to harmonize with the wind spirits and commune with my ancestors. I figure we'll take the updrafts over the clearing of contemplation, then cut across on the west breeze to avoid the headwind. Oh, you're in a hurry. Okay, jump in my boat. I'll get you there. It'll be a little bumpy. Okay, let's head over. We're actually nearly um, level... 126 which will be great i cannot wait for that it's Zola, gonna be awesome stranger awesome. needs our help they're going to the cave of quickening we're going to the cave of quickening peace and harmony be upon you stranger you walk a dark path your aura is mighty cosmic forces swirl all around you i see you're touched by sacrum dust that's good your life essence is pure to reach the cave of quickening you must pass through the Ashen Caves. They are overgrown with fungus born of death magic. Their spores kill all who breathe them. 
Your aura might protect you, but any who walk with you will surely perish. Sigram dust is not enough. There is an antidote, fruit of the Gulmahar tree. It will harmonize the death energies in your body. Go to the Dying Glade and get some. Okay, let's go to the Dying Glade. Oh, level up, level 126. We were just talking about him. We got a level. Yay! Amazing. Amazing. Okay, let's um, head in here. I'm assuming there's a whole bunch of fights and we'll probably skip anything that is not a boss fight just because it's not really important um, at all. So, you know, just the normal. Yep, uh, Death Monkey Spiders. These guys look creepy. Um, and why do we have our 1v1 deck on? I don't know. I haven't done any. Oh, that must have been from yesterday's stream. That makes sense. Um, anyway, I'll be back in just a sec once we've defeated these guys. Ooh, I'm back. That fight was quite painful. I nearly died there. That was very close. Oh gosh, look, there's a boss. Hello there. Finally, a boss. First boss in a while. Um, yeah, that fight. Mm, not a fan of that fight. That fight was not good at all. Um, really, really not good. Uh, let's put in some feints. I'm a bit worried about this, honestly. I'm a bit worried about this boss fight. I'm a bit worried. Um, I don't want to put in any, um, things. Any elemental blades. Oh, gosh. I meant to put in some other blades. Some of... Didn't put them in. Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we'll see if this is fine. We should be good. We should be good. 10,000, not mm, too bad. I mean, with two blades and, what, three feints? We'll see if we can do it. I don't know. They hit hard. They hit like a ton of bricks, all hitting you all at once. It's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Luckily, we got this nice sweet fainty poo, um, which is good. He also gave us a faint as well, which is great. Um, we're going to blade. I'm not too worried about anything. We do have cleanse if we need to. I doubt we will need it, but you never know. You never know what's up. You never know what they do. They could be good or something. This is stun, right? Is this a stun? I can't remember, but it did crit, so that's not good. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, that did a lot. That's not stun. It looks like the myth one, which I believe stuns. I can't remember. It's been a while. Been way too long. Um... Okay, Beguile, that's cute, whatever. <laughs> whatever, that's fine. Yep. Um, I find it really strange how they use Beguile so much in Imperial Part 2. It's really, really odd. Um, like, there's no real point. Hopefully he's giving me pips. If he gives me pips, I'm going to be so freaking happy. And also that's good as well. Um, if he gives me pips, honestly, it's going to be the best day ever. If he gives me pips, I'm going to be so happy. So happy if he gives me pips. Luckily, that bubble's really good for me. It's also really good for them, which is the only issue. Um, damn it, he's... G Why would he... Why would he give himself pips? That doesn't make sense. Because it wasn't... It wasn't Beguile. It wasn't Beguile. So it's not like he's giving him... I'm, I'm confused. Really confused there. Really, really confused. But um, it's fine. It's whatever. We, we good. We, we good. We'll get through it. Um, they love fainting, apparently. Fainting is their number one priority in life, apparently, so that's great. Um, we can serve the pip, which is really good. Uh, we can go for a Lulu at any time. I want to get another faint up or another blade, um, and a prism. I need a prism, otherwise we're not going to do anything, because, um, these guys have a lot of, a lot of health. Um, let's try and find this guy. It's kind of really difficult looking for people at the moment on the wiki because there's not many scarecrow, really. It did so much. Holy moly. These guys do so much. What is this called? Necro Ant. Necro Ant. Let's see what he's got. Show me what you got. Um, we can't use this because we didn't put any prisms in. Um, I'm kind of keen just to hit, but I know I also don't want to because it's not going to do anything. But, we need health, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it because we need health. Only reason why. Only reason why. Of course he would take off one of his traps. It's whatever. I mean, they're both the same, so it's fine. But he did do damage, so that's always good. It's always good when they do damage to themselves. Um, he has 70% resist to death, which is fantastic. So he's not going to go down anytime soon. Um, yeah, he has a 5% boost to life. 
really do need a prism though. Like you ain't getting through. You ain't getting through that resist. Jeez. Um, well, we'll try and kill the minion. We crit finally. I haven't crit all day. It's ridiculous how little I crit when I. Okay, he blocked. Whatever. Please don't block. Please don't block. Why even crit when they can block? You know, just why? It's just not even, not even cool. That nearly killed him though. That did 8k. That did 8k. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised about that. Without a crit, that did 8k. Jeez. Pretty good. We can finish him off with like a Kizma or a Denite or... Actually, we can probably finish him off with um, New Spell. Because he's under a third of his health as well. So that's perfect. As long as he doesn't heal back, which he could because he can... Um... Actually, the only thing he can do for that is um, Dark Shepherd, which he could do. Um, or go for a um, Scarecrow. So we'll see, but we'll get the double, we'll get the double, um, double Mortis. That should be good. Um, really, really good. We're going to blade into it as well. I wanted to faint, but if we don't get it, it's mm, kind of not the worst thing that could happen. Kizma, that's fair enough. Fair enough, it's not going to kill me, hopefully. He does have, um, 100% outgoing boost to damage, so we'll see. He's, ne he's basically as good as me, except it has more resist. It's ridiculous. These bosses are no joke, like, seriously no joke. Yeah, that did not quite enough. Not quite enough to kill me, thank goodness. Um, I was a bit worried there for a second, because Kizma does a lot. It's the best death spell in the game, unless you get the double mechanic of the new one. Do we just want to go, like, full out on the new spell? I think we do. I think we do. I know it will kill. But we're going full out. What is this? Crit? Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, 500 deaths. Don't like that, but it's fine. <laughs> Don't like it, but it's fine. Um... Yeah, this should do the double mechanic, I think. He's got enough. He's got less enough health, right? Maybe. We'll see if my math is good. The only issue with the death spell is getting under 33% health sucks so much. Like, you never know when that is. Like, it's so difficult to tell. Like, it could be now or it could be in just a couple of hits. It's such an odd number. It is, though. We did it. We did it. Yes. GG. Easy clap. Easy clap for seven thousand. Did listen the, didn't did listen the Lulu, but that was without a um that had two faint three faints so, you know, you know it's not bad. Well we did it. Let's get this tree. That was fun. That was a fun wee thing. I nearly died like five times in this place. So <laughs> that's fun clutching for days. Let's head back to the the dying jungle. Um. People trying to message me. Shout out to Slow Sloon, Sloan, Sloan. I really hate in the game how the A's look so similar to the O's. Like seriously, it is so frustrating. So 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 frustrating. Why do they look so similar? Maybe I'm just blind. I don't know. Who knows? Not me. That's We're for here. sure. Have you found a way to the quickening place? It had better be close. I'm a doctor, not a sherpa. You brought fruit for your friend too? Right on. The Ashen Caves await you. You will find the Cave of Quickening on the other side. Eat the fruit and you will be ready. Wow, this is pretty good. What you might call a magical fruit. Nice to finally get some lunch. Okay, wizard, lead on. You're right. The creatures in the caves will try to bar your way. Do not let your courage waver. May you reach your destination, stranger. Okay, we are going to end off here for today. Kind of a short episode, but I was in those fights for quite a while. Um, next time, we'll head into the Ashen Caves. Um, yeah. Also, just reinforcing that the, um, the these episodes are going to be, like, around 15 minutes. We've actually got 1 minute and 58 seconds where I can talk. Um, depending on how, how well this is edited. But, um, we're not going to do, like, a whole bunch in each episode, unlike previous episodes of the death walkthrough before Imperial part two we're just gonna like go really slowly so just so you know i'm gonna keep saying that until people understand we'll see i'll, I'll probably stop at some point but anyway thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe if you're already subscribed press the wee little bell so you know exactly when i post another video and remember crafts outside the box